This is BasslerCast, tutorials for Mr. Basler's physics class. In this tutorial, let's take a look at Newton's second law by examining something accelerating down a ramp. And here we go. A nice winter problem for you. Here is a sled going down a big snow hill. And if we take a look at this sled, it zooms down the hill. Let's press pause and take a look at what's going on right here in the middle of the hill. There's a force straight down. There is a force that's perpendicular to the snow hill. And then there's actually a force that's going up the snow hill acting on the, the uh, sled. So if we zoom into, these, uh, the, into that force diagram and take a closer look, we see that the weight of the sled is 500 newtons, and the force that's up the ramp, that turns out to be friction force, and that's 50 newtons. Now we want to examine the force of gravity a little bit closer, so we break the force of gravity into its two components. This is going to be a 30 degree angle, so the component that is of gravity that is perpendicular to the snow hill is going to be 433 newtons. We also have a component that is parallel to the snow hill, and that is going to be 250 newtons, of course, just using sine and cosine for this. Now, these two components basically just cancel out the force of gravity. So we can take the force of gravity out of, the, out of our mental picture of what's going on here. Um, if we also look at this component of gravity, the component that was perpendicular to the snow hill, that's actually canceling out the normal force. So that can go away. And what we're left with is this 250 newtons that was going down the ramp due to gravity. So let's slide that back up uh, here so it's on the same plane. And we see that we have 250 newtons downward and 50 newtons upward. Now if we take a look at Newton's second law, which is force net equals mass times acceleration, our net force here is 200 newtons down the ramp. And uh, we can find the acceleration by taking 200 newtons divided by the mass. So the mass, um, we have to figure that out, but if you remember that the, the object weighed 500 newtons, so if you take 500 newtons and divide by 9.8 newtons for every one kilogram, we get a mass of about 51 kilograms. So now it's 200 newtons divided by 51 kilograms, giving us an acceleration of 3.9 meters per second per second. And there you have it, Newton's second law, sliding right past you. Once again, thanks for watching.